Hello again, it is Everbles and welcome back to Super Mario Advance 4. In this part, we're going to begin World 6, the ice world of the game. Uh, as a world, this world, I don't know if I'll say this world is like, hard, it can't. The platform can be, you know, irritating because it's like ice, so yeah, expect to slide a lot in this world. Um, fireballs are really good for this world. They're being an ice world. And, wow, I lose one right when I say that. And I get hit again. I'm off to a great start. This level has these like piranha plant enemies that like shoot a spike ball up. Um, after a while when they shoot it, they'll blow it in the air very high. So that's when you want to jump over them and Continue. And with that, we have the first level beat. In terms of the length of this world, um, I don't know if I'll say this world is like super long. Oh crap! Oops, wrong button. I didn't. What the heck was that menu? I, I didn't even know that was in the menu in the game. I never pressed all like that actually. Oh, interesting. But um. Yeah, this world, this world shouldn't be too bad. And I I might know this card pattern, which is why I'm guessing the, the cards are easy. Let's see. Okay, I know this pattern, I think. Right, okay, no I don't. I lied. That was a little too. Oh, it's all showing, oh god. Bum, bum, bum. Super Mario, yo three. Do, 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 do. Gotta love this song. They've put in a lot of you know, recent Mario, you know, they put in a lot of newer Mario games. Is that something Nintendo likes to do? They like to pay homage to Mario 3 a lot. But as you do this level, I wanna oh god, uh oh. Okay. As you do this level I wanna mention that uh we're out. we are almost done with this game. After this world there's only two more world two more worlds. World seven and then we got the final world of the game. Um there's a one up here I think. Okay, good. Well, I hope everybody's having a good day. If you are watching this, hope you are having a great day. If you've been watching this project from the beginning. I hope you've been enjoying. Oh god, dang it! Hope you've been enjoying. Uh, hope you've been enjoying the uh, commentary I'm giving. I'm trying to say something, not just sound like rambling about like dumb stuff or anything. Alright, and wow, I have so many items. Start using these. There we go. But if you are having a bad day, hope you're having a good day. Now let's enter the mushroom house. And, ooh, Hammer Bro suit. Oh wow, our item inventory is full. Um, you know what? I'm gonna use it in this level. Now this is a power up that I don't think they've brought back yet. It's pretty cool power up because it lets Mario like throw hammers, which is pretty cool. Can... Alright, I'm gonna do this because I'm scared to run across. Oh, yeah. Let's Mario throw hammers. These hammers can kill a lot of enemies. I think they can kill booze. That's pretty cool. 
there. This probably. Oh, what the heck? The heck is up here. I didn't know something was up here. What the heck? This is new to me. Oh, Snooki. Okay, I don't want the Snooki to keep my hand on Um. Uh oh. Oh God. I don't know where to fall. Oh God. Okay. Thank God I didn't fall to my death. Jesus. I could not see where the ground was. Um. That. All right. Oh God. I'm very nervous in the world of six. I hate ice. Ice makes platforming annoying. Okay, I almost died. That was a near death experience. That was, we're, we're okay. Alright. Um, I don't know where that pipe, this pipe takes you. Um, I would break it, but I don't have no other hammers and I don't want to waste on it. I don't need to. I'm just gonna go to the castle. I guess more of a fortress. Um. All right. Oh, and another thing about the hammer bro suit is that when you duck, it can actually block fireballs. It's very useful. It'd be very useful. Oh, I didn't block that though. Oh dang. Oh, it was fun while it lasts. That basically explains how the power up works. I really wish it'd come back in other Mario games. It really should come back. It was, it was a unique power up. Well, I think it was. I think it was pretty unique. Alright. There we go. Easy as always. Progress further, we have the card thing again. Every game. Let's see if I can finish this card pattern. I guess I might be able to. Um, crap. Okay, I think I got it. Yeah, I got it. This is one of the card solutions I've I've kind of memorized. All right, um, the world, the oh no, world four, the level four. Um, level of pain. I don't remember. I feel like this level was annoying. Oh yes, it could be annoying. It's... Du, 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 du. Bye bye bye. All right, watch out for this part. This, that stupid enemy right there. Um, okay, this part of the level is the most annoying level, part of the level because this thing can throw you down straight down. It can throw you straight down, so. Yeah. I have died before because of that. Never again. I would like to mention that, um, after Mario 3, once Mario 3 is over with, I'm probably going to focus on Sonic, getting Sonic Battle done. Uh, I'm considering that if days I can't record with Bliss, that I might just upload just gameplay or just random games, be playing them for a little bit. You know, so like little videos like that. I'll probably do. I might do. Okay, this level. Now, this level, I think, tripped up people because... Now, right here is a power-up. Now, essentially, you can keep going back and forth. Now, if you were to go to the left of that pipe, you can... You can go back and forth and keep getting power-ups from that room, I think. But I think it resets. It, it resets. 
So to beat this level, we need to fly. We actually need the super leaf to beat this level. You cannot beat this level without it. You need to fly up one of these parts. Okay, I gotta fly up there. Let's fly! Oh crap, I forgot. You have to do something else. You need to... Ow. Wow, I actually got hit. Okay, uh, let me go up the pipe. I'll just keep going forward. Ow. If you're wondering where this takes you, see it takes you here. So... Yeah, it'll just take you right there and the block will reset so you can get a super relief. Like I said, you need this to beat the level. Now, how do you beat the level? I believe, I remember, you need to grab a Koopa shell. Yeah, you gotta grab a Koopa. Oh, he killed the Koopa, god dang it. Of course he killed the freaking Koopa. Yeah, you have to grab the Koopa and fly up there with him so you can kick those, like, nipping plants up there and kill them. Right, that's worked, I guess. Alright. Um. Alright. Grab you. Let's do this before you recover. Yeah, you can fly with you. You can fly with items or with holding items. Yeah, as a kid, I heard that got a lot of people like who grew up with this game stuck because they didn't know how to. They didn't know they had to do that for that level. And there's not really an indication that you're supposed to go up there. Not like no coin trail or nothing. So yeah, I can understand that. All right, let's kill you. You see more of the world. If you got any power ups in here, I got a cloud. You know what? Can I use some of my clouds? I might just use. Can I use them? I guess I can show the cloud off. Um, as you see, it lets you pass through levels. As you can see. So that's what it does. Unless you skip a level. So if a level is like challenging, you don't want to do it, you can just use the cloud to go past it. Hey, Spike, what's popping? I don't mind that Spike's playable in Mario Tennis. Uh, crap. I don't mind that he's playable in Aces, it's just kind of weird, like, it's like with the Mario spin-offs, like, they're randomly adding certain characters playable. It's like when Spike was playable in Mario Party. It's like, huh? Like, why add a random character like Spike? Or a random enemy or something. Or like how Mario Party 9 has, like, um, well, I guess it's Magic Hoop, but I don't think it's Kamek exactly, but, yeah. That brings me to the question of the day. Who is your favorite? What is your who? Did, um, what Mario enemy is your favorite? For me, I always like the charging. So I thought the charging took are pretty cool enemies. They're like football players, and growing up, I you know I thought football was really cool. And I like how the charging sucks had um different forms. They could be like they got one that kick, ones that charge at you normally, there's the baseball, ones that throw baseballs at you. I thought they were pretty cool enemies. Um, what's another enemy I really like? I really like, I really like Hammer Bros. They're pretty cool. Like, I like them in Mario Superstar Baseball. I hate them in Mario 1. They're gay in Mario 1. 
reason I say that is because Mario won literally fun Mario won Final Ball for literally a hammer, bro. I don't care what anyone says. It's not Bowser, it is a hammer, bro. That Final Ball is a hammer, bro. And here we have the next another auto strong level. I hate that enemy so much. I don't even know what it's called. And oh wow. God dang it. Alright, that was my fault. I have no idea what I was thinking when I made that jump. Let's try this again. Bump, 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 bump. Bup, bup, bup. I am player one, that means that you're player two, BG. Man, I miss Bruno Foss. He did a song about Mario 3. That was a... I like that song. It was catchy. Bruno Foss in general is catchy, like, that man... Like, I don't know how he does it, but he's making these lyrics to these video game songs, like, awesome. I haven't checked if he's uploaded anything new uh, recently. In terms of like my favorite songs from him, I really like Dr. Mario. Dr. Dr. Mario was funny. Um, the one with Baby Mario is cool. I like the animation for that one. Uh, I, lo I love his Phoenix Wright one. The Phoenix Wright one is really cool. Um, he did another one for he did Luigi's Mansion. Yes, he did. A, he did a rap for Luigi's Mansion. It's pretty cool. Oh yeah, there's like a bunch of coins frozen in ice. If you have a fire flower, you can just get rid of them. Get some free coins. Which I will do right now. Alright, let's continue. Oh, crap. Bum. Alright, um, let's do this. Fortress. Oh, this one. This is a fun one. Hammer, the Hammer Bro actually could be useful for this because you can take out... The Hammer Bro can take out the Thwomps. Don't ask why I can. It, like I said, it can take out some enemies that you wouldn't think would be able to die. Besides, or you would think that they'd only be able to be killed by a star. Alright, let's... This... Yeah, this all gonna be tricky with these ice physics, uh, the booze, placing of these freaking thumps. And I always forget about that one. I always forget about that last one. Always get hit by that. All right, this boom boom fight can be hard actually. All right, never mind. If I messed up that jump, this fight could have gotten a lot harder probably. Like, once Boom Boom starts moving, he can be tricky. Save again. He can be tricky once he starts moving around a lot. So don't, um, don't underestimate him. Uh, let's see here. Oh, crap. Okay, it's not that pattern. Crap. Okay, I might not know this one. Okay, crap. Yeah, I don't really know that one that well. Go to world eight. Or level eight. God dang, I keep doing that. Like I have a grass level in world six in the ice world. Alright. Gotcha. Oh god. We're calling down with that. What you and with that, we are done with the level. Something else I want to talk about actually is that I've made a lot of progress in FC7. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I made a lot of progress in FC7 today. Um 
I have all three main lords promoted. They're all awesome promoted. Um, FE Seven was like the first Fire Emblem game I ever played. It was, it was the first game a lot of people played because it was the first one that you know came to the West. You know, it was common that you know it's first first one first Fire Emblem. Uh, I'm ow. I fell. Du, 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 du. Ow. I can get up here. Okay, I can go up here. For sure. Oh, it's in the wall. Okay. But yeah, all three lords are promoted. Elliot is a monster. He's pretty good. Um, it took a while for him to promote because since he's the main focus, uh, he promotes later, or he promotes by story progression. And when he promotes, he got a horse, he could use Lance, which is pretty cool. Um, Lynn's promotion lets her use the, uh, she has access to bows. Cool. And that's kind of how, you know, if you played Heroes and you're wondering how she has that, or why Legendary Lynn do, can use bows. That's why. Like, I'm just talking about random stuff, not about the game. So this level, uh... This level has a lot of these blocks that have either enemies or coins. Now, there's a reason why I shot only those two. Because... Wow, well, there goes my friggin... Oh, there goes that. Oh god. Oh, I can't break those blocks now. I guess I'm gonna beat the level. Yeah, the, uh, you could just got a lot of coins in those blocks. Something serious, I guess. But, uh, yeah, all the Lord's promotion. Pretty cool. And I don't know why I jumped directly on the spikes. And I died. That thing looks like a waffle. Super Skarmory, if you guys know him. He was, he was back, he was on during the days of old youth. You know, before YouTube got all these different things and changes. He was, he was, he was actually the first, I guess, not really Let's Player I watched, but like, a person, I guess someone who does commentary over games. He was like that first person for me. Ow, god dang it. Ouch. What do I get for trying to speed run? And oh my god. Alright. Oh crap, the door's over there. Oh, that was close. And I beat Boom Boom. Okay, I can, thank god. I was scared I was gonna die. Alright, there we go. Alright. Back to the card part. And OBS just told me that encoding overload. Why is it doing that? Okay, it did it again. I'm scared. I hope that doesn't mess up the recording. I'm done. It hasn't done that in a while. I don't know why it's doing it now. Alright. Alright. And with that, we are done with the world, pretty much. Uh, I'm gonna just... This. And the Monty Mo and the king got turned to Monty Mo. How tragic. Alright, I don't remember how this airship is. 
I don't even know if we've done the hardest one. Is this is an airship that has like those platforms that like you have to keep jumping on. Yes, it is. Wow. All right, these platforms you gotta keep jumping on them because if you don't, you will slide off. And well, Mario will just after a while of standing still, he'll just fall. Uh, you don't want him to fall because he will die. Okay, this one might not be that bad. I don't think it's that bad, actually. Well, it doesn't seem bad. Oh, this part. Okay, let's jump up. Oh, that was close. There we go. Um, that the air shot? Okay, that wasn't that hard at all. That was easier. That was a lot easier than the last one. But also, this one is we have. Um, wow, help me. We have Lemmy. He's gonna throw his balls to attack you, and I almost die. I don't think his those balls he throws can hurt you. I don't think they can. I hope they. I don't, I don't believe they can. They can bounce you around, and you could end up getting bounced into him. So yeah, be careful. But with that, we have World Six done. And, oh my God, who is that king? What the? Is that a dog? I think the king is a dog. Okay. I won't judge. Shout out to my friend Slycario. And the usual peach message. And I got another feeling. And with that, World 6 is done. So, like always, I want to thank y'all for watching. Uh, I want to thank y'all for uh, the feedback I've been giving me. So, y'all you know, have been enjoying this. Which I am glad y'all enjoying this. Um, feedback, like I said. Very appreciated, so I can improve or something. Uh, this is fun. I like doing these playthroughs. Doing playthroughs, so this is fun. Besides, like, me streaming and stuff. This is fun. Something to do inside. In the mood. So, yeah. With that, we... Gonna continue the World 7. Which should be fun. Nice, uh... Nice drug reference. So, let's just say that. And... But for now, I will talk to you guys in the next part. See you in Pipeland.